Right, in this video I'm just going to show you uh, how to calculate networks like this using Kirchhoff's laws. Now if you've got a circuit or a network with two loops like this, with two uh, sources of supply and resistors like that, you can have more than this but uh, we've simplified so if you've got like for instance instead of R1 you've got two resistors in series on this loop and maybe two uh, sets of um, batteries or sources of supplies and even a resistor here uh, in between the batteries you can just uh, simplify those to one resistor and one supply of voltage so you add them if they are back to back if they are facing each other you subtract them and put the final value here so finally if you've got a network like this and you want to solve this problem using Kirchhoff's voltage and current laws uh, this tool will help you automate that basically all you have to do is just put the values of the resistors uh, in each one of these uh, squares in each one of these places you just go there and type for instance instead of four you just type uh, five or, or whatever you want or 50 or whatever value you want let's just say 550 and the source of supply you have minus 48 volts here 50 volts here 54 volts here you can change all that to whatever value you want if it's not minus you can say positive whatever you want you can change that basically and this tool will automatically regenerate the answer for you as well as writing the sequential order of the formula uh, how you write it basically if you're a student and you're doing this for your assignment you can just basically literally copy this and write this there for your answers if you're a lecturer you can easily use this and get the answers for different values because i uh, tend to give different values of resistors and supply voltages for different students so they won't be able to copy and do any kind of plagiarism so uh, it would be good for lecturers as well as students so if they want to just generate different answers for different values to see if the, the students have got the right answers in the end uh, this is a great tool to have so in the end it gives you the current values for instance for i1 here is generated 1.5394 amps and i2 uh, sorry i3 is 1.4211 amps and uh, and even as a bonus we found uh, the uh, power dissipated at the load as well the load being the branch in the middle R3 so if you consider this as load uh, we've calculated all the power dissipated or used at this load so whatever value you put there it'll generate all those values let's just say for instance at this moment uh, I1 is 1.53 and um, i3 is 1.4211 and i2 here is generated 0 0.1183 amps uh, minus 0 0.1183 amps so now if i change that value of that resistor back to what i had to begin with let's say 4 and enter then we'll see the results have changed i2 is now minus 5.5 amps whereas before it was no point something and uh, i consequently i1 uh, is changed to 3.3333 and i3 is changed to minus 2.167 amps so uh, you can see it generates different values uh, correct values for each current for each branch as well as the power for the branch in the middle and and uh, on top of that as I said it actually shows you the sequence it, it teaches you basically how to write the equations for each loop this is for uh, 
each loop, loop A and B, and then uh, it goes on, equation 1 and equation 2 multiplies each one by certain number of uh, values, and then it gets the answer for, for instance, for I2, and then uses I2, substitute that in equation 1, and writes this all together, and then finds I1. And, and we know I1 plus I2 is I3, and it finds I3 here. So what I'm saying is you don't uh, uh, need to go through all that. It's just nicely written there for you, so you can copy and uh, write it in your assignment and write it for different values to, to check your answers to see if you've got the right answers and if you're a lecturer you're assessing um, hundreds of uh, assignments and you will have to probably calculate each one because you've given each student different sets of values uh, you will end up having to calculate for each one to see what answers they have to get and are they correct or not so with this you can get the final answer instantly and see through their process of writing equations, just scan through them, see if they've done it right. And, um, and that's it, you can mark their assignments. Now, this is a perfect tool. The link to this tool is in the description of the video. You can find it on my website and instantly download it. I hope this will help you, all the students and lecturers alike. And if you like it, please uh, share and give us a thumbs up. Till next video, goodbye.